Welcome to Rock Talk with Jackie Neal. On this episode, we are talking with Michael Cardelloni. He has been the drummer for Leonard Skinner for 26 years. He's also one of the founding members of the Damn Yankees and a prolific painter. He's actually been painting before he started drumming when he was nine, painting since he was four. An amazing artist, an amazing person, out on tour with ZZ Top for the Sharp Dress Simple Man Tour. Here's Michael Cardelloni. Hey, Jackie. How are you? Hey. Hey, Michael, I am so excited to talk with you. We've got a lot of ground to cover. We've got two big things to talk about. The Sharp Dress Simple Man Tour with ZZ. Now, I'm stoked because I'm in Corpus Christi, so we're going to be seeing you live at the American Bank Center on April 20th. That's right. We're looking forward to being there. How is the tour going so far with ZZ? Are you guys just having a blast together? We're having a great time, Jackie. You know, the bands have toured together over the years many times, so we're all old friends. I think it's a great show for the fans because there's enough common thread of the history of the two bands and the classic eras that we represent. And I will tell you, we have just started doing a really fun thing on this tour, and that is Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top is getting up on stage with Skinner, and we're playing Call Me the Breeze together. Oh, I'm yeah. looking forward to that. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's a great moment, and the, the fans are, are really enjoying that. Now, I had seen that you were talking about playing Freebird when you were 13 in a garage band, and then one night performing <laughs> Freebird with Skinner, you look over at Gary Rossington and thought, this is pretty damn cool. Yeah, I mean, truly. You know, I was a fan of the band way back when, and, and none of this is lost on me. You know, this is still a pinch yourself kind of moment (laughs) on any given day. You know, I've had some great experiences with my musical career and, you know, being a member of Leonard Skinner for 26 years now, it's just a wonderful dream come true. Now, let me ask you, if you can tell us, what is your favorite Skinner song to play? Undoubtedly, it is I Know a Little. Oh. I will tell you why. I grew up with my parents playing big band swing music in our house. And the first time I heard I Know a Little, that triggered this this love of big band music that I have. Because really, I Know a Little, it's almost a Glenn Miller in the mood uh, um, tip of the hat, the intro of the song. So it has this really fun, swingy, kind of a drum beat. And when I play it, I'm kind of hearing Glenn Miller in my head. It's absolutely my favorite song. That's awesome. Yeah. And it's in the show right now. So you'll hear it in Corpus. Christi. That's so cool. And, you know, I definitely get the Glenn Miller vibe and also a little Western swing in there, too, mm-hmm. kind of integrated. Absolutely. Let's talk about your painting, um, because you've been painting longer than you've been drumming. Painting since you were four, drumming since you were nine. And you've said that painting is kind of a meditation and therapy to prepare you for kick boxing with drumsticks <laughs> <laughs> truly truly it's uh it's the it's the quiet side of my life and the drumming is the loud side but they do truly represent two halves of a whole jackie right you know, i've only known them coexisting i don't separate them in my head i i can't imagine doing one and not the other because they really do give me a perfect balance uh of my creative life And I'm happy to say that, you know, that has turned into a second career. Mm -hmm. Um, And and I have an art show coming up in Asheville, North Carolina on on Saturday, May 25th. Uh, A wonderful artist named Philip D'Angelo at his studio. We both have Sicilian ancestry, so the show is going to be comprised of a lot of Italian-themed paintings that we've done. I'll also have some music paintings at the show, including one that is a tribute to the original lineup of Skinner, the seven uh, guys that are on that first album. So the the artwork has been a very important part of my life, and if anyone wants to see what my art looks like, I have a website, michaelcardelloni.com. They could go on there and check out the stuff. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. The exhibition is Bella Italian. Of course, you said that you and Philip realized in talking that you both were from the same area around Sicily, and it's your artwork side by side. Did I read that correctly? Yes, yes. We we are purposely hanging the artwork side by side to kind of complement and play off of each other. We have different styles mm-hmm. of painting, but but we're choosing some of the same themes 
which I think is going to make for a really interesting exhibit because you're going to see how we approach some of the same themes, but with our different eye. That is so cool. Now, of course, I haven't seen all of the pieces, but I have seen the four Davids. That is incredible, Mm -hmm. those four different styles. Yeah, thank you. Just quickly in a nutshell, my wife and I, Nancy, we went to Florence, Italy during our honeymoon. We saw the David statue. I was just knocked out because it's just so overwhelming to see that statue in person. Mm -hmm. And I thought it would be interesting to to do some uh, um, paintings in tribute to Michelangelo's incredible work. Mm -hmm. And, And then it turned into painting him in different styles of art representing art history and the four davids are are something i'm very very proud of they will be represented at the show in Asheville. you also you're one of your paintings that i saw of italy now that style it looks like a photograph it's incredible ah uh, uh, is it the one called bronta You know what? Honestly, I did not look at the title of it. I was just looking at images of your painting. It could be it's buildings and kind of shows the rooftop. If if I didn't know, I would think it was a photograph. Thank you, Jackie. That painting is of the town in Sicily called Bronta um, that my family is from. So I I painted my family origin. And I will tell you, uh, interestingly about that painting, I carried that canvas on tour with Skinner. And I worked on it in hotel rooms during the day. Well, that's what you started doing because, you know, y'all do have a lot of off time during the day before the shows. I do want to touch on the varied style of painting also translates to your drumming. You have toured and worked with so many artists from Cher to Wolf Hoffman and Except. That's opposite ends of the spectrum, (laughs) Michael. My God. (laughs) (laughs) It, It truly is. (laughs) <laughs> it truly is. Well, that's what's wonderful about music is that you just keep building your vocabulary and you just keep changing hats. I love that about you. And thank you so much. We're so looking forward to seeing y'all April 20th at the American Bank Center. And I'm going to put in a request on the hunt. Don't know if y'all do that live. Uh, well, we might have to because you put in a request. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Michael. Thanks, Jackie. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Rock Talk with Jackie Neal. I want to thank Michael Neal from Deep Well Sound for providing the intro and outro music. I'd love it if you would like, subscribe, and leave us a review.